Organic Strabango Black Tea. Yes, a unusual, unique, clever name that I believe we invented. Uh, I'll get into that. We'll also talk about where the tea comes from, the origin, the processing, how it's made, uh, how to prepare a cup of tea, as well as some of the health benefits. Enjoy this video and enjoy your tea. My name is Michael Duranko, and I started local tea company back in 2006 in Siesta Key Village here in Sarasota, Florida. The shop is still there. It's now the Bean Coffee House. We also operated the Selby House Cafe at Marie Selby Botanical Gardens for nine years, and we had the Carriage House Tea Room there at Selby, where you could typically find Glynis Chapman talking tea. On Saturdays, we were at the Sarasota Downtown Farmer's Market in our tea tent. Now our business is wholesale. We sell our teas through a network of serving partners, and we sell all of our teas at our website, localtico.com. I hope with these videos that you'll learn a little bit more about our teas, about our serving partners, and some of the other things that we're up to. Enjoy. Our organic strabango is an organically cultivated black tea from the mountains of Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka has a long history of growing teas dating back to when the country was named Ceylon. Thomas Lipton uh, started his tea brand from plantations located in the southern part of the island. Sri Lanka continues to uh, be a substantial exporter of tea. The humidity, cool temperatures, and the rainfall in the tea growing regions provide a climate ideal for producing high quality tea. Strabango is organically cultivated, but has not pursued the requirements to be designated as organic. And if you look at the country of Sri Lanka, it somewhat resembles the shape of a strawberry crossed with the shape of a mango. Yes, do you see that? <laughs> Not only do we have a splendid tasting black tea, but two of our favorite Florida fruits are added for the perfect amount of exotic sweetness. Strawberry and mango are two fruits made for each other and scattered between this juiciness, you'll find delicate calendula blossoms. So let's get into the name right off the bat, Strabango. Easy to say, um, fun to say actually, a somewhat elegant mashup of strawberry and mango as I'm sure you've surmised. Uh, we added this tea to our lineup back in 2009 and I remember doing a Google search on Strabango and not coming up with anything. So we went with it and I'm glad that we did. On the blog version of this post, you'll see that we played with a T.S. Eliot poem, Naming of Cats, and we had a little fun with Naming of the Teas. And though recently I found a poem, Naming of the Teas, by Bruce Boston, and I put links to both of those uh, poems in the show notes and on our blog post. One other thought about the name, I noticed recently an energy drink from Ghost Energy. It's a margarita mix named Strabango. They have uh, flash videos, uh, far bigger promotional budget than we have. Uh, that is not us, just so you know. Our organic Strabango is a versatile and spectacular tea. It's great for a Swedish morning cuppa as well as an exquisite iced tea. One of our serving partners, Cafe in the Park, they're near Payne Park here in Sarasota. They serve this as an iced tea every day. Um, I did a video about them a couple years ago and I'll put a link to it here. Black teas are completely oxidized, which means after the teas are plucked or picked, they're uh, rolled and crushed and bruised to begin the process of oxidation. I use the example of a sliced apple that starts to brown over time. Tea leaves are the same, and part of the flavor profile is developed from the environment where the tea leaves are left to oxidize. The tea master or the person making the tea will move or turn or roll the tea so it continually is oxidized. They use big drums. And so it allows the, the tea leaves to become fully oxidized. The oxidation ends when the tea is fired or heated to arrest that oxidation. 
the mango and strawberry flavors are added once the tea gets to our uh, through our import and blender. A combination of dried fruits and oils are added to get the desired flavor profile. Notice that the strawberry or mango, that sweetness, doesn't linger on your tongue or in your mouth. That's the quality, that's the sign of a quality tea. That is, in a nutshell, how organic Strabango comes to be. It starts with a high quality black tea from Sri Lanka. So how do you make the perfect cuppa Strabango? I have a video that goes through how to make the perfect cuppa Lapsang that might be helpful. You can check it out here. For a hot tea, use a tea sack or a tea ball or a teapot or a French press, however you make your tea. Allow your loose leaf straw bango tea to steep four to six minutes in boiling hot water. Measure and use a timer for the best results. Um, you can then add your creamer or your sweetness or don't. Straw bango is a very fine tea all on its own. And be sure to steep your straw bango a second and third time. You can add just a few minutes more to each of the infusions. Preparing tea is all about personal preference, so experiment. For iced tea, we suggest the cold brew method. Put your tea leaves in a sealed container of cold water and leave in the refrigerator overnight. You can use a tea bag or you can just put the tea leaves and they'll settle to the bottom of the container and then just uh, either strain it or be mind the leaves as you pour the tea over ice. You may be surprised that the cold brew tea has no astringency or bitterness that you would expect after such a long steep time. The tea flavor and sweetness are nicely balanced in a cup of strabango. You'll notice the depth of the tea flavor and the exotic fruitiness that uh, is, is uniquely strabango. I always try and pick out the strawberry and the mango uh, as, as you taste it, but you really can't. The flavors merge together nicely. So these health benefits are generalizations and not intended to be recommendations. You should check with your healthcare provider to see how best to include straw bango or any black tea into your daily diet. Black tea is known to fight against ATB, which is all things bad. It's black tea is high in antioxidants and polyphenols and can help with cholesterol, general heart health, blood sugar levels, and blood pressure. I find the caffeine in this tea helps me to focus rather than giving me a boost that I get from the lapsang. Strawberries are an excellent source of vitamin C, which is a powerful antioxidant that helps support the immune functions while also increasing the absorption of iron from foods and strawberries contain little to no fat or protein. Mangoes are a great source of vitamin C and fiber as well as vitamin A. Mangoes can help boost the immune system, aid in digestion and promote healthy skin. Lastly, mangoes are believed to have anti-inflammatory properties that may help against certain types of cancer. I love the taste of mango and it's one of my top five fruits. Enjoy our organic straw bango black tea as a start to your day or serve it as an iced tea to friends and see if they can guess the flavors uh, before you tell them the name. I hope you liked this video and found something of interest or of value. If you did, please share it with your tea-loving friends, like it, and subscribe to our channel. See you next time and enjoy your tea.